Hello lovely people, how are you guys doing? What's up? <laughs> In today's video my friends, I thought I can try following a professional mermaid's routine. We're gonna follow her makeup routine, but there is a video of her whole routine, you can find it like this on YouTube, this is the video that I'm gonna follow. I look like a puffer fish now. <laughs> Why am I so puffy? <laughs> Let's see if I can turn myself into a mermaid. The magical makeup. <laughs> and at the end of this, we're gonna try how waterproof is my makeup. Spoiler alert. I can never say that. Spoiler alert. I can never spoiler alert anything. <laughs> spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. A wimbo whip, 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 a wimbo whip. All right, puffer fish. Ah, ow! <laughs> Let's do that. Ooh, I slapped myself so hard. A wimbo whip, a wimbo whip, a wimbo whip, a wimbo whip. So we're starting off with some foundation on the eyelids. Wait, hold on. Can you be a mermaid if you can't swim? I don't think that I'm qualified for that position. <laughs> When you lie on your resume, I know how to swim. I know, I know how to do it. I promise I know. Please don't try me. <laughs> I don't wanna ask for too much. I don't wanna get greedy. Ankle deep water is enough for me. <laughs> but if I somehow find myself in a lot of water, I don't know how to swim. I'm swimming like a dog. <laughs> no offense to all dogs. Obviously you guys can swim better than me. Teach me master. <laughs> hey, you know what? It's not that bad. Now that I think about it, I can also do that trick called the rock. Not this one. This one. <laughs> yeah, it's very easy. I just sink like a rock. <laughs> Effortless. Oh, she has a mermaid brush and a mermaid bathrobe. Oh, how cool is that? I love those little details. I start with my brightest colors and I put them right here in the middle. My favorite color is Turquoise. All right, so we're gonna start off with the turquoise in the center of the eyelid. But well, this looks a little more blue than turquoise, but that's okay. I love blue, you guys. It's my favorite color. I love it. I love it ever since I was a kid. When I was younger, I even painted my whole room blue. Everything was blue. And now I'm all about blue and lilac. Lilac is my new favorite color. Why do I love it so much? I don't know. It's weird how we just pick a color and say this one. This is my favorite one. <laughs> How do we even decide that? And then I start with like the darker tones on the edges. There's a little bit of shading there. All right, now we're gonna take a darker blue shade. I'm gonna use this one over here. And this is going in the outer corner. I use a lighter color on the inside of my eye. Oh yes, yes, we love a nice gradient. Okay, give me a second to flex a little. See these brushes? Yeah, I washed them yesterday. All of them. Mm, mm. Those of you guys who are regularly doing your makeup, you know that that's a real flex. If you could smell the phrase, I got my life together, this is how it smells. Oh yeah. <laughs> she just says that she's using a lighter shade, so I don't know what kind of lighter shade she's using. I'm gonna improvise and hopefully I'm gonna get a result similar to hers. Now that my blue is on, I'm going to do eyeliner. My thick eyeliner is like my pretend lashes. That is like quite the change. I can't explain with words how much I love a thick winged eyeliner. I look like a puffer fish, boom, thick winged eyeliner. Problem solved. I don't want to put false lashes on, boom, thick winged eyeliner, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. Thick winged eyeliner, yeah. Thick winged eyeliner, yeah. Anyways, got off topic again. Forgot I'm turning myself into a mermaid. Still looking like a puffer fish. What is this? I think that we can only save this situation with some foundation. Foundation is what I need. Foundation is what I want. <laughs> Hey Siri, Siri, tell me a fun fact about mermaids. Sea cows. <laughs> sea cows. <laughs> sea cows were often mistaken for mermaids. <laughs> the awkward moment when I realized that no matter how hard I tried, I would never be a, a mermaid. 
I would always be just a simple sea cow. Moo. Who saw this animal and thought, you know what, we're gonna name them sea cows. Look at them though, they look so squeezable. Guys, I think I finally found my spirit animal. Sea cows. Hey Siri, Siri, tell me a fun fact about sea cows. Make sure that it's a fun one. I found this on the web. All his sea goes, sea cows, Siri, Siri. Fun fact about sea cows. Moo. I found this on the web. Do sea cows <laughs> Someone actually asked that. <laughs> sea cows are gentle animals with no natural enemies. They spend most of their time eating, resting and swimming slowly but gracefully. I'm telling you guys, this is my spirit animal. They spend most of their time eating, most of their time eating, eating, eating. Hi, we have so much in common. Sea cows are cute, you guys. They're, they're adorable. Are they dangerous? Imagine being slapped by a sea cow. Just... I was slapped by a sea cow today. You guys remember that? Ah! Oh, I'm having so much fun right now. Anyways, mermaid. Let's focus on mermaids. I'm a simple sea cow, but now I'm trying to turn myself into a mermaid. This girl is so beautiful. You guys have to see her outfits. Oh my god, she's stunning. Stunning. I'm gonna have her Instagram down in the description box. She's a professional mermaid. She is all about mermaids. I love that. Now that my entire face is covered, I am going to do a little bit of contour. I use really light concealer. You think that's a lot, but it's going to look mermazing. Aww. Mermazing, that's how we want to look today. Yeah, and let's blend it out. Mermazing. Nice, nice concealer under the eyes, nice. Now she's taking a contour palette and she's using the lighter shades to set that concealer. So I'm just gonna use some um, very light powder that I have over here to set that concealer in place. Okay, now we're gonna contour the face with darker shades. So I'm gonna take my contour Where you going, Contour? Why are you running? I wanted to do this update on my contour. I broke it. <laughs> Yay. I'm gonna put a little bit here, a little bit here. Ooh, a little too much. <laughs> blend it, blend it, blend it. And uh, now I need some blush. Blush is one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup. I love the coral tones. Mine too! Blush is my favorite part too. And she's using more corally shades. I mean, duh. <laughs> so let's go ahead and blush this face up. Let's blush it up. I'm also using some more corally shades, matching the whole mermaid look. A little bit on the nose. Oh, I don't know if she applied on the nose. Well, that's okay. So I'm going to add a little bit of like a lighter color underneath my eyelid right here. And in the corners, kind of like a highlight. It's just these ocean colors. I don't think that she wore any highlighter, but she added some highlight in the inner corners of her eyes and something under the eyes. I don't, I can't really see what she did there. It looks like she has some black pencil in her waterline, but other than that, you know what? Let's just do the highlighter in the inner corners of the eyes. Wow. Wow. I like it when my inner corners are bright, like very bright. I want them as bright as possible. And I also like bringing it under here. She did that, so I'm following what she did, but it's also something that I'm doing on my everyday basis. This is definitely a look I would wear. It's nothing out of my comfort zone. I would blend it a little more um, just because I like my eyeshadows a little more diffused. But if you're creating this look to get in the water, you don't really care about super perfectly blended eyeshadows. Let me add just a little more. Just a little more. Oh, I love it. Alert. Lashes completely change the look. Yes, yes, they do. Oh my God, she understands me 100%. She reads my mind. She says what I have in my mind. Lashes make 
so big difference. I said that before and I'm gonna say it again. Fauxes are addictive, you guys. If you've never worn Fauxes, be careful. You can so easily get addicted to them. Once you start wearing them, you can't stop. That's it. Fauxes every day, Fauxes every night. Fauxes every day, Fauxes every night. <laughs> Throughout the video, she said that if she's doing an event where she doesn't have to get in the water, she's actually wearing Fauxes. But if she's going to an event where she has to get in the water and swim, she can't be wearing Fauxes. And I mean, I kind of understand that, because if you wear Fauxes in the water, it must be so uncomfortable. Because once you get in the water and your Fauxes are wet, they stop pointing up, they just, you know? It's like water kills their confidence. <laughs> it kills the curve. Before you get in the water, they're all proud and standing up, chin up, pointing up to the sky, up, 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 you know? And then you get in the water and they're like, ugh. Yeah, conclusion is, I had too much coffee today. <laughs> Conclusion is, water and false lashes, they don't get along. They can't be friends. They don't want to be friends. We need to make water ploof. <laughs> water ploof. <laughs> We need to make a waterproof false lashes. Anyways, let me put on my false lashes and I'm gonna be back for more. Okay, so in the video, she also applied some mascara on her lower lashes. Now, this is something that I don't like doing. I don't like applying mascara on my lower lashes, but I'm gonna do it because we're following a mermaid makeup tutorial today. This looks good on so many people, but I feel like it doesn't look good on me. So that's why I usually don't do it. Ready for some eyebrows? My eyebrows, I wish they were thicker, but they're not. So I pretend, because my life is pretending. It is. Yep, I think everyone can relate. We're all pretending, and we're pretending that we're not pretending, but we all know that we're all pretending. Wow, <coughs> told you I had too much coffee. I like this look without my eyebrows being done. Is it weird? But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and fill them in. Look at what difference the eyebrows make. Now we're moving on to the lipstick. She's putting on a very bright red lipstick. Wow. <sighs> and now the last, but definitely one of the most important steps of this mermaid makeup routine is the setting spray. And this is what will keep the whole look in place. I'm actually going to try out a setting spray that I've never used before. This one over here. I started this video looking like a puffer fish, then I went through the phase of being a sea cow. Am I a mermaid now? <laughs> Next, in the video, she's talking about her tails, her outfits, so many things that we don't really see that are happening behind the scenes. We just see a beautiful mermaid swimming, but the effort behind all of that is like, whoa, mermaids, you have my respect. Oh my God, can I just stop having lipstick on my teeth? I really like how this look came out. I love the colors on the eyes, I love the lipstick. Everything is great. Let's not forget that this is a stage makeup, so it's supposed to be more intense. Why am I like that? This right here is a bowl where I usually have my pasta. I like the amount of pasta I'm eating to be equal to the size of my head. <laughs> Since we're doing a mermaid makeup look today, I thought, hey, we need to try it out. This video can't be completed if we don't try out the mermaid makeup that we're creating today, right? We need to put it to the test. I don't have a pool. If I had one, I would just in there, but I don't. So I'm gonna improvise over here. Most people want poo in their house. I don't want to poo in my house. Because guys, can you imagine how much hard work cleaning a pool requires? I mean, obviously, if you have a pool, you're not the one cleaning it. It's beautiful, but it requires maintenance. Just like me. <laughs> All right, before I get any more lipstick on my teeth, let's try out this mermaid makeup look. Oh, it's cold. I'm warming up the water. <laughs> oh, no. 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 I forgot my mascara is not waterproof. Oh my God, I literally had one job today, one job. To make sure that all the products that I'm using today are waterproof, guess what? They're not. Mascara, why you disappoint me like that? You are not who I thought you are. When someone eats the last piece of cheesecake, <laughs> you'll be forever missed. Oh my God, my lipstick is holding pretty well. 
me when I see a piece of cheesecake that is not mine. I look like I was in a 90s music video. Look at my lashes, you guys. They look so bad. <laughs> Told you, false lashes and water don't get along. Did I just ruin a brand new pair of false lashes? Oh my god, I'm a disaster. <laughs> I told you I'm not qualified for your job. I told you. <laughs> to be honest with you, I totally forgot that I'm gonna dip my face in water. That's why I used that mascara. I think that this is a good time to wrap this up. If you guys had fun watching this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already, because that definitely helps me so, 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 so so much <laughs> you can also find me on instagram facebook i also have a second channel here on youtube you can go and check it out thank you guys so 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 much for watching and hopefully i'll see you in my next one bye oh my god there is so much foundation swimming in my water yeah